What's up, my awesome YouTubers? Ryan 1988 or Justin back here to week 87 on the DVD Fiends. And for my Saturday review this week, I'm going to be talking about a horror movie slasher film from the 80s, I believe 83, 84, um, that came out. And I wanted to see it for a long time before I got the DVD. And I saw it actually uh, once before I got the DVD and that was my ch you know that made my choice of getting the DVD because I liked it a lot um, and it was talked about on the going to pieces the rise and fall of a slasher film which that made me want to see the movie a lot and um, it was it's out of print now but it is actually getting released in a special edition with the two other films um, October 5th, and I reviewed the second film, I don't know how many months ago, but I did review it on the DVD Fiends, and so I'm going to review the first film now, and the film I'm going to be talking about is 1982-82, um, slasher film, Slumber Party Massacre, and uh, the tagline is, The Ultimate Driller Killer Thriller. Um, yeah, this is one of my favorite slasher films now. It's fun, it's campy, it's cheesy, it's awesome. Um, it's just a lot of fun to watch. Um, it's not scary. Um, well, the concept is having a maniac come in your house, but, um, it, you know, the film itself is not scary. It's just a lot of fun to watch. Um, it's 77 minutes. Not It's not too long, like 93 minutes or so. But um, I just had a blast with this movie the first time I saw it before I got the DVD, and so that made me, you know, make my choice into getting the DVD. And I, I did pay a pretty good amount of money for this uh, movie, but it was so worth it. And now they're releasing the special editions, which I hope, or they're re-releasing them, and I hope that they uh, put some special features on them. Now the cool thing about this movie was that not only, you know, it's a slasher movie, but it was directed, produced, and written, or the screenplay was by women. Um, and I always thought that was cool when, you know, women, you know, wrote these slasher films, directed them, produced them. I always thought that was awesome. Um, and uh, that's what makes this movie special. It also makes it special just because, you know, uh, you know, it, it brings horror movie elements but it adds like a little bit of comedic tone to it, especially with some scenes. Um, but the basic storyline, it is a it is a typical slasher film. Um, it's about a couple of girls, they're on a basketball team, and they decide that they're going to have a slumber party, um, and a killer or a maniac escapes earlier in the day, and he uh, you know targets these girls for some reason, and he decides to... Um, stalk and basically slash the uh, slumber party and so he invades it and you know he kills some girls kills some guys I'm not gonna say who um, but um, yeah it's a typical slasher film but for me it's a lot of fun I love this movie um, you know the deaths you know there's not a lot that really stand out you do have a you know decapitation I will say as I you know I haven't seen this movie in a couple weeks but you do have a decapitation in the film. Um, you have a lot of fun characters. I always thought they were fun, especially the character of Jackie. Um, she was the, you know, out of the girls, seemed to be like the, the one who, you know, brought the comedic side to a film, especially in one scene where, and this is, might be a spoiler, but it was on the Going to Pieces documentary where a pizza guy is killed, and the pizza's on this dead guy, and she goes over, grabs the pizza, and um, you know, she says some line, like, um, you know, they're talking, they're frightened, and, uh, you know, she says, or they say, the guy's cold, and she goes, this is the pizza, grabs the pizza, eats it, uh, the other girls are grossed out by it, but it's just so fun, it's a, you know, memorable scene, and, like, the whole movie has to be one of the most memorable scenes for me, um, and it, you know, just, it brought a little bit of humor into it, um, the ending, you know, with the kind of, with the demise a little bit for the killer was cool because, you know, not only was he evading their home, but the girls, well, the, the girls who survived actually um, fought back, and I thought that was neat. So it's a lot of fun. It's an awesome film, in my opinion. 
Um, cheesy, yes, but uh, a lot of most slasher films that came out were cheesy. But um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And uh, if you want to get the DVD now, the last time I saw it was like twelve ninety nine for a used copy. But um, I highly recommend waiting and getting the special edition. Hopefully, special edition. Hopefully, we get some interviews um, when it comes out October fifth. I will definitely be picking that up. Um, just because, you know, I love this movie, and um, all three of them are actually getting special editions, so uh, I thought that was very cool, you know, that they're all getting the uh, special edition treatment. So um, definitely check out Slumber Party Massacre whenever you want, um, either get the DVD now or wait till October 5th, but um, yeah, I highly recommend checking it out. So Slumber Party Massacre, that is going to be my review for this week, come back next week to see my next Saturday review, and come back this whole week to see some awesome reviews from awesome guys. Okay, talk to you guys later. Hope you guys are having a good day or night. You guys are awesome. You guys rock. And go eat some Skittles.